Welcome to the reporting and evaluation session for the American Dream Literacy Initiative. The American Dream Literacy Initiative is a program of the American Library Association, managed by the Public Programs Office in collaboration with the Office for Diversity, Literacy, and Outreach Services, made possible through generous funding awarded by the Dollar General Literacy Foundation. I'm Mary Davis Fournier, Deputy Director of the ALA Public Programs Office. Joining me today is Jay Wade, Evaluation Director with PI Organization, our independent evaluator for this project. During today's webinar, we will be providing an overview of upcoming dates related to your management of your library's American Dream Literacy Initiative grant. We'll be discussing evaluation plans and requirements that fall under your library's American Dream Literacy Initiative grant in your grant agreement. And we'll be reviewing interim and final report requirements and briefly walking through just how you will access the final report via the ALA apply system. As you view this webinar, please think about the information you'll be asked for through these reporting and evaluations as you proceed with your American Dream Literary Init Literacy Initiative funded programs, services, and acquisitions. We're trying to keep the burden of reporting and evaluation requirements as light as possible for participating libraries. Here we go. So here are some important dates in this initiative from a grants management perspective. You've already passed the first one. <clears throat> your grant acceptance forms were returned by January 18th, 2019, and you're off to the races with your programs and acquisitions. At this point, you're likely in the midst of this programming period, implementing all that you proposed. You have until November 2019 to complete your implementation. July 1st, 2019 is the deadline for interim reports, and I'll discuss more of that in a moment. And your final reports are due two weeks following the end of your American Dream Literacy Initiative funded programs and services, or by November 30th, 2019, whichever comes first. All reports that I will reference in this web session should be submitted via the apply system. This is the same grants platform that you use to apply for this American Dream Literacy Initiative grant. ALA is working with PI Org to conduct an independent evaluation of this initiative. Rep responding to surveys and communications from our independent evaluator is a requirement of your grants agreement. I'm happy to welcome Jay Wade, who is the Evaluation Director at Planning, Implementation, and Evaluation, PI Organization. There, he serves over 50 organizations annually on multiple research and evaluation projects. His primary work is with foundations and community col collaboratives, coaching large dockets of nonprofit grantees to streamline evaluate, evaluation measures and outcomes reporting. Dr. Wade is also a part-time faculty member at Loyola University Chicago's School of Education, where he teaches evaluation and research methods. Welcome, Jay. Welcome. Thanks for having me. All right. So, uh, hello, everybody, and uh, it's exciting to be working with the American Dream Literacy Initiative. Uh, again, my name is Jay Wade from Pi Org. Um, so what is Pi Org and what do we do? Uh, Pi partners with organizations to serve communities through outcome-focused strategic planning and evaluation. Uh, so what does that mean, right? A lot of jargon in there. Uh, basically, that means that we work exclusively with nonprofits, educational institutions, such as libraries, and foundations to understand how they're changing people's lives and transforming communities. And then we help them measure that transformation, measure those changes in lives so that they can both advocate for the great work that they're doing, understand their impacts on the persons they're serving, and then also learn about their programming so they can serve their communities better. And that rolls up very nicely into our evaluation goals here for the ADLI initiative. 
So our goals in working with the ADLI initiative is to help the ALA Public Programs Office understand how the grant has increased capacity around literacy and how ALA can, can support current and future American Dream grantees to have great impact and capacity for literacy work. So what does that mean? That means that we want to uh, help you understand how we want to understand how you guys are using this grant money and how that's related to the impacts around literacy that you're having in your communities, right? So how are you using this and how is that impacting your library's capacity to serve? And then also the learning component. How can ALA, we want to hear from you so that we can learn how ALA can learn how to better support you all so that you can have better impacts in your own communities, right? And so how are we going to do that? We're gonna do that through two specific ways and two specific time points. We're gonna do a brief questionnaire, about 15 minutes, and then a brief interview, about 30 to 45 minutes, right? So, and we're gonna do this at two time points during the year, in mid-May, June, in mid-October and November. And what you may notice is that mid-May, June date rolls up very nicely to that July 1st interim report date, right? Same with mid-October and November, rolling towards the final report at the end of November. And so basically we want to gather data from you all uh, at those two time points to again, understand how you're using these funds, how those funds are impacting uh, your capacity to promote literacy, and then learning from you all how the ALA can better support you all and future grantees in the future. All in all, again, the questionnaire will be a brief 15 minutes and interviews will be a brief 30 to 45 minutes. So really just asking two hours of your time throughout this year in total um, so that we can really uh, promote uh, the work of this initiative and help support you all better in the future. Uh, we're really looking forward to it and I, I, I can't wait to uh, learn about you all and your great work uh, in May when we reach out. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jay. We've been uh, really pleased to be able to work with Pi Organization to create uh, an evaluation plan and reporting plan that work together so that everything you're doing is um, being recognized, Every, all the hard work that you're doing and that we are able to at ALA and also our funders, Dollar General, are able to recognize and learn from the work, this great work that you're doing in the field. So now I'm going to go over some details that you will need uh, to fulfill your grants to reporting deadlines. Your library's interim report is due July 1st, as Jay just mentioned, and your final report is due two weeks after the final programmer by November 30th. I will continue to say this because it's very important to get that final report data in. All the final reports and attachments are to be submitted in the apply system, the same system that you uh, submitted your proposal for this grant. So the interim report is very simple. Its purpose is really a check-in. You'll be asked to describe your activities so far and summarize any shifts in strategy or program plan since your proposal was submitted so many months ago. You'll also be asked to uh, describe any significant variances in your proposed budget or budgeting strategy since your proposal was submitted many months ago. A, the, the, link is right here uh, on the apply platform to receive this interim report form as a downloadable word document that can then be submitted to brian russell at this address at ala by july 1st 2019. Um, just to be clear on terms a significant variance to proposed budget means any spending shift that is over 10 percent of what you have proposed or a shift in your strategy that has implications for the purpose of your grant. We realize that as your plans unfold, changes often become necessary in budgeting and in staffing sometimes. And the interim report is really a method to document those shifts so that we will see a through line from your proposal to your final report. Um, many of you have 
also been in touch already regarding shifts in your spending or staffing plans. You've already seeked authorization by reaching out to me or Brian via email. I'd ask you to continue to reach out for approval of these shifts to your plans and just include those shifts and the request for approval or note the approval you've already received in your interim reporting form. So this slide, again, just sort of um, summarizes what we're talking about here in terms of variance and what we expect from you in compliance. I should also note that if your work is just zinging along according to the plan that you proposed, simply note that you've had no changes on this interim reporting form and send it on in. Okay, I've said it before, but it bears repeating. Please submit your final report within 14 days. Please stick to this schedule. Also, please note the final report uh, will be accessible on the apply site in May 2019. So very shortly. So I'm gonna take you through just a very brief step-by-step -step, uh, that will take you into the apply system and give you a preview of what to expect with your final report. So you will go to the apply.ala.org American Dream 2019 link, that site. You should remember this from your proposal. You will email, uh, enter your email and the password that you selected uh, when you proposed this um, program plan as you applied for the grant and log in. If you are someone who is re completing this report who is not the person who proposed this grant, if that has been part of a staffing shift or if you simply have someone else in your library who submits grant applications, please email Brian Russell and update that information so that he can queue um, uh, login for you on the site that will link to your, the library's proposal. Once you're signed in, you will, um, you will get to your application page and at the bottom of this page, you'll see on the left-hand side, final report. Click on begin. By clicking on begin, this will bring you to an instruction page. This outlines the requirements as you're uh, entering this report. It will go over the terms of use for report materials, which is really saying that ALA, the Public Programs Office at ALA has the right to uh, access these, this data to reference this data in our reporting, to authorize PI org to reference this data. And we're hoping that you will supply attachments that will include photos, marketing materials, to be able to use those materials as great examples. We ask you to acknowledge and agree to the terms above for this, okay? Now, you'll note that there's a save button at the bottom of the screen. You can at any point during this report, save your work and return to it later to um, complete your report. Okay, now this brings you to navigating your report report. Now, as I noted, because of the save capacity for this report, you may navigate this report in stages. You can save your work as you go, and the right-hand navigation pointed to with this arrow will take you through the content sections of the report. Your first section is project information. This is where you log your program data. The pull down in program categories corresponds to the program categories you identified in your grant proposal. They include adult basic education, ESL, high school equivalency, and some that fell into an other category. Please note, you can also access your grant proposal in this system, and it can sometimes be really helpful to have your proposal at the ready as you reflect on the work you've done over the course of the grant. As to these session, program session categories here, we are looking for session information. It is important to understand how many participants 
attended each session your library held as part of your American Dream Literacy Initiative programming. So for those of you who are running literacy programs that contain an extremely high number of sessions, please contact me or Brian Russell via email and we can talk about uh, an Excel spreadsheet to upload your data. And by that I'm referring to some libraries we've had in the past that have conducted 50 or more sessions as part of their um, American Dream programming. So we don't want this to be a burden, but we do need to record all these categories. So please respond uh, to this project information session with the data you've gathered. Okay, further along in project information, you will be asked for some, some questions about retention rate for your sessions, about details, uh, give us a highlighted detail for a student or family success story in your program. Here, we are just looking for the additional highlights that you may be able to share with us as you reflect on your accomplishments. If um, either of these categories do not correspond to your experiences, please feel free to write not applicable or nothing to report here so that we know that you haven't just skipped these uh, responses. Okay, the next section is outreach and project evaluation. And here we are gathering information on um, your partner organizations, uh, organizations external to the library that you may have uh, collaborated with, um, with your American Dream programming. We are trying to, what we are trying to learn here is the nature of those partnerships, whether these are new, whether these are um, ongoing, and whether or how your uh, American Dream Literacy Initiative programs and services have influenced or impacted these partnerships. We are also looking for insight here under evaluation in, um, in, for insight into how you are evaluating your library's work with this grant and with um, adult literacy. Development of materials and resources is the next se section. Um, many of you have um, allocated uh, parts of your budget for materials acquisition. Many of you have developed resources to support your programs and services or to wrap around uh, acquisitions that your library has made to support your adult literacy services. We want to hear about those here. If you have developed um, lib guides, if you have developed uh, user guides, if you have um, created materials and translations, we would love to hear about them and we would love to see them. We would love to be able to look at the great work you've done and then we would love to be able to also share it with your peers and with the rest of the field. So that is uh, the purpose of this section of this report. We're also going to ask you to drill down just a bit about on the technology that you may have used. Many of you have acquired software or new licenses or expanded um, your hardware within your library for these services. Um, we want to hear about that and we'd love to hear about any challenges you encountered in um, May, taking full access or implementing the technology in the context of your ELL services. And we're asking for um, reflections or and uh, data, if you have it, on how these collection materials you've acquired have enhanced your programs and services, what the impact has been. Okay, um, outcomes and sus sustainability. Again, this is another area where we are really looking for some reflection here on what you have learned, um, what you as a professional have learned, what the you've seen as unanticipated outcomes or benefits, what there are th what you have possibly thought hasn't gone as planned and that you would do differently next time. And we are also looking for some insights into sustainability from your perspective. 
um, what that would look like, what the barriers that you may be facing might be. Sustainability is, of course, um, a key question for all libraries providing these services. And our hope is that we can learn from your experiences through this. I should also note that if you plan or your library is planning to apply for a second year of funding, this section is will be especially important to you to consider as you contemplate applying for a possible future grant or future funding for this uh, through American Dream. Here we're going to be able, uh, we're asking, here we are asking um, whether you have any suggestions for us on what might be uh, helpful to you as you're looking back on this project and this grant, what might be helpful to you or other libraries in the future to uh, fully leverage this opportunity. And we're looking for information on support from ALA um, in, in terms of the uh, project management, uh, reporting, evaluation, ease of access, professional development webinars, any of the pieces of this that you can provide us uh, with feedback on would be helpful. We're also asking you to list any matching funds that you may have leveraged in kind or in cash through this grant period in connection with this grant. Really, this helps us to know, um, you know, what impact this grant has had either on your institution or in the community. Um, it helps us to know whether this additional support has been in kind or in cash. And it is, this is not a requirement of the grant, but it's very helpful to ALA in making the case of impact to our funder. And it also has implications for your library and your community services as well. So we like to track this information. Again, at this point, you're able to review, save and review your report to see whether you are satisfied with your answers and finalize your report. So you will see a long screen print, basically, of all of your answers to all of these questions at this point that you can review and revise if you choose to before you submit. OK, and now you are done. You've, re you've reached submit. Um, at the bottom of the review page, you'll hit submit to complete the final report. You'll receive an email confirming your receipt. And you have completed this, and we thank you for it. Now, I wanted to just uh, make a note about project outcome. All libraries are required to participate uh, in the project outcome evaluation platform for participants in your American Dream Literacy Initiative projects and programs. The project outcome participant feedback should be used as a tool to inform this final project report. These are the links to the project outcome platform. We assume that you're also watching the webinar for American Dream Literacy Initiative participants that will take you through the project outcome platform and um, what is involved in terms of um, distributing participant evaluations and gathering participant feedback. And what we're really encouraging you to do here is to access your dashboard, access that uh, participant feedback, and weave it into your final report narrative here. This is an entirely separate webinar, but this will be essential to review those findings to inform your final grant report for ALA. Finally, I want to address um, what happens to all of this final report information and um, sort of underline ALA's commitment to excellence and transparency to the field. And we will use all of this information that we glean. Um, we will analyze the data. We will um, create recommendations to inform future grant opportunities for the field. 
What you are reporting to us will inform ALA's project strategy and design. We want this to be beneficial uh, to libraries and to the library field. This data will, of course, be an input to our, the independent evaluation conducted by PI organization. And we will absolutely use all of this reporting information in our final report as a grantee to the Dollar General Foundation, who is our generous sponsor in these efforts. I wanted to also just uh, plug the rest of the American Dream webinars here. Um, if you have not viewed these, if you are new uh, due to a staff change, or if you are, you know, just going back and looking at all of the resources that are have been created to support your work as the project manager for this grant, we encourage you to check out the cohort orientation, check out the media training webinar, uh, the project outcome overview and instructional webinar, and you have, of course, uh, are just about to complete the reporting and evaluation webinar. All of these webinars and the related materials are available uh, via the apply platform, apply.ala.org, American Dream 2019 under guidelines. They are in the impact and sustainability tag, which is uh, in the navigation on that page. And with that, I want to thank you for accessing this webinar. We hope that it will help you and your American Dream Literacy Initiative team as you fulfill your library's reporting and evaluation requirements for this grant. Please don't hesitate to contact uh, your team at ALA or pi.org with any questions. And finally, I'd like to thank my co-presenter, Jay Wade from pi.org. Thank you all.